Oh good, it does continue pretty much right from here. Haha, <laughs> totally didn't take another rig, I don't know what you're talking about. Hello again folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame. Made in the Blackwater. I'm sorry, I had to remember like five different titles of Fatal Frame. I'm your Game Master Darius, last we left off. We are about to head into a nope land of filled with nope. Uh, by that I mean uh, a manor. Very claustrophobic, but now we're doing so with a different character. I hear the older part of this inn, the part that's further back inside. It was part of some temple or shrine. As they usually are. After it became an inn, Dang it. the proprietor's family lived here, but it doesn't look like anyone was a massive landslide that hit Mount Hakami. Oh. Maybe they were all buried under the rubble. Hey, it looks like the album you asked for was found in the old building. Yep, that's why I'm putting off going in there. Looks that way. Okay, so this is the way that... Yeah. Other chapter I'd gone through. I guess I'll go through the... Building. So, I... What, I'm not sure whether or not I got this point across. When it comes to larger areas, open areas, you have to be pretty damn good at making it so as I particularly get scared. Reducing one's visibility, like you do in Silent Hill, for example. Even though that was mostly a technicality thing, or technical reasoning why they even did the fog and all that fun stuff, it really helped with the atmosphere in the larger areas. Like, if you were able to see a monster far off in the distance and you can go, oh shit, I'm gonna just go this way then. When it's a tighter area, that's when it gets more claustrophobic, and probably something I got off my mother's side, I'm pretty sure, because, yeah, like walking into a dilapidated building like this and going, mm-hmm, gonna hate this. Wide forest that you can see everything in, less so. Everyone's reacting to something. So the camera can now just cool. The camera obscura has the power to photograph the invisible. I wonder if this is the same as the power Hisoka uses for her shadow reading. It is. And I hate it. Yep. Slew rubble. A few thick pieces of wood have been nailed to the window. Maybe they're here to protect against landslides. I mean, I did a fine job of that. Yui, I swear to God, if I randomly turn around and you end up jump scaring me, I'm going to punch you in the face. Well, lovely. Good start. I don't know exactly how deep into the hole... Camera obscura thing that these guys are in. This is flooded. Yep. So when I say their non reaction to a spirit is a little bit funny to me. Right, this is where I found that other dude. The playing as one of the other characters. No, I've not. Hi there. Just the wind, you say? Not the wind. Man in the shadows. Woman in the shadows. Woman in the shadows. Where to God, you wee? And some pretty good film? Yes, spoiling me game. Is there a reason why you're pointing up, down, left, right? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start.
It's very weird. It's like pointing here-ish. Damn it, you. I swear it's actually easier to control the character while within the camera. Those are hands. I wasn't sure if those were hands waving from greats. Not. I don't think this is the way to the place Hisoka mentioned. Okay, but the way Hisoka mentioned appeared to have hands in the hallway, so I'm a little less wanting to go down this path. Thank you very much, Yui. It should be around here. Uh huh. There was probably something to my left. Now I get some medicine. Gonna need the medicine to deal with half this shit. Excuse you? Yeah. Um? Yui? Buddy? No offense, but you're a little in the way. There you are. Hi. You eat my partner in crime? I'm guessing you don't have the sight either? There's another? Oh no, it's not that there's another, she's just behind me now. Hello? No, there is one thing I'm kind of have a problem with with this game so far. It's them not seeming to attack all that much. I know that's a weird thing to have a problem with, but I mean, you're fine. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through this door, aren't I? Again, it's a. I'm not all that claustrophobic. God damn it, you put me in a situation like this. Doll head. I, I, I get a little bit concerned, you know? Concerned. Is this not where we found where we found it as Hisoka? Or with Hisoka? I guess we found it uh through this Equal opportunity booty examination. This must be the room where Hisoka found that album. Yeah, it seems so. Reminder, kids. Don't go into abandoned houses. You don't know what kind of condition they're in. Also, they might be filled with specters and ghosts and... Maybe I can view it through the viewfinder. And uh, here. All right. Phantom expose. Crumbled old note has materialized. This must be what the camera was reacting to. Messy note. Number one, maybe it belonged to someone who lived here. 
How long has it been since I lost everything? The mountain swallowed up half my inn. All I have left is that old album of postmortem photographs, the one left by my father. I don't even know who these photos are of, but it's the last vestige of family I have. How long have I spent here, wallowing in the darkness? It doesn't matter. I'll burn it all, and then I'll, it'll only be me. I think I'll end up in the observatory room on the roof. The sunset is lovely up there. Using this note as a token, I might find a trace that will lead it to some other information about the photograph. Hi, guy. Oh, good. Nooses. So there's a good chance this guy burned down his house. The alcove wall has come loose, revealing black soil behind it. This whole room must be buried. Yeah. So let's get out of it before it, you know, kills us. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Alright. So with the clue of an observatory, I'm going to assume that it wants us to now go up the stairs, despite the fact that I'm pretty sure that uh, we probably could have done that without the whole trace mechanic in the first place. But, to the game's credit, the trace mechanic is actually really damn good if you've, like, not played in a long time, so... You're like, eh. Hi. Alright, we've only got so much power while... a distance away from things. Hello, ladies. Hi. And imagine photobombing your friend. You're not dead yet. Or how you're not exercised yet. Take that the wrong way. You don't need exercise. You just, you know. Go back to the realm of the dead. What, what you... There. There you go. Oh, she has, like, no health. There we go. Oh, touch. Okay. I don't know if I'm able to fatal glance all of the ghosties. Hi, Yui. You must, you must be very confused as to this whole situation, considering... According to the stories, after the landslide, the owner of the inn moved to the third floor. And they Relic. say he burned himself to death there, or that he threw himself into the lake. I'm hoping for... Oh, enough story. The first. Tell me about it. I can see the water on the first floor through the gaps on the floor. I don't think I can make it through here. Alright, so... This... But, but. Since then, they say that if you look up at the third floor veranda, you'll see someone looking back down. Uh-huh. Really? I'm sorry. Pick up the thing... I'm not going to say no to a sacred water. Or a note. Nope, that's not a note. Take the film film. Was that something? Nah, probably nothing. Ooh. 
This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. What's this place looking like anyways? I kinda wish it would um throw some doors. I'm always pointing at things, but I don't know what it's pointing at. Ah, that's the thing. Lean in and grab the thing. That's so much film. Check what? What am I checking? Check, 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 check it out. Flashlight won't penetrate the thick glass. Perhaps the lay inside buried the building even up to this floor. That's impressively enough to slide. I see the glowy. I reach that glowy. Not sure I like that sound. Whatever that sound's supposed to be. No hands on me. Oh, you, you just, you know, seem to keep on getting directly within my path of walking. Stop it. Locked. Camera is reacting to the door. Alright. Tilt it. Alright. Oh, yep. Gonna go back downstairs, check out that little flap. Be showing me the location of the key to this door. I can't tell half the time if I'm trying to if I'm making progress or not. Also, this note wasn't here. Like the one found in the old building looks to be belonging to the innkeeper. Even before the landslide, there was always strange going ons around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing on a college field trip. Paul, police were stumped. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again, seemingly out of her mind. There were lots of theories, but most people believed they were simply spirited away. That girl came back each year to look for her friend, like some sort of pilgrimage. Countless people have gone missing over here over the years. We're all used to it by now. My father was spirited away too, as was the folklorist Keiji Watari. Watari. Was that the guy... In one of the previous ones, Eiji Watarai. First game, maybe. I don't know. Next it'll be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I doubt anyone will think to come looking for me. So is it just me or does Japan just kind of come off as one of those places where live and let live and not kind of, I don't know, I, I'm not sure how to describe it. That sounded like it's a dick thing. Live your life, don't bother your neighbors kind of a thing. Hi guy. And because of that, a lot of people that end up dying because, you know, no one checks them out or whatnot. A whole lot of, I, I've kind of heard horror stories about how that's a whole lot of older folk die because they just stay home, eventually keel over, and then eventually someone finds them. And it's like been months. I, again, just horror stories of that kind of shit. Anyway, there's a key on the yellow keychain. <clears throat> oh yes, go back up to the second floor. Hello again, sir. Seen right and Kipper? Would you kindly go to attack me so I can get a fatal frame off? 
Oh, now you get freaking. Hi, kid. Or points. I don't think that was the innkeeper. Here's the Yui. You end up getting the spirit of the way. I'm gonna be pissed. Kind of got that whole semi gullible but excitable thing to him. I don't know. Around the thing. Oh, hi. So I think he hung himself. Couldn't tell you why I think that. Oh, come on. Hold still. I said hold still, not attack me. A little surprised you're not saying the ropes. The ropes. Shit. Hi, guy. Yeah. Hi, Yui. Oh, I call BS on that one. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, pal. There we go. Oh. You do? Oh, they hit a little. Existing in this life. I touch. I saw something behind when it disappeared. By the innkeeper. The place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot, but I suppose that was always the case. Mountain and death go together, side by side. Ikomori was once known as the Grove of Shrine Maidens, a sacred grove where the mountain's maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims, easing their passing into the other life. Other side. Whoa, oh, I can read. I like that. I envy it. I wish someone would be there to see me off. Was that the man who wrote this note? Maybe I'll find something upstairs. Have you been able to actually see all this shit? I don't know half the time. So, is there a thing pointing at Rui? Hmm. On finding wrong buttons to press. And again, we do have a little bit of that there, then there, dark water, black water. I'm not saying dark water, and that's a completely different uh, thing. Hi. Well, I managed to get that one. Oh, she hung herself in this doorway as well? Or... 
Is it just constantly pointing at Yui? And don't get me wrong. Cool, mirror stone. Don't get me wrong, they're cute, but normal budge, blocking from the inside. There's another door on the other side. No. Just checking this one. Oh yeah, this is totally a place where we want to go. I'm gonna guess that the innkeeper had hung himself and threw himself off the side. But in doing so, he also kind of sort of ended up... Uh, But in doing so, he kind of also sort of ended up swinging. Hurting himself a lot like in the process. Hmm. I'm not picking that up just yet. I, I'm exploring. I feel like there's going to be something with that. Lore, gather things. Can't hold any more of these. I have way too many 14s. Locked from the other side. Yeah, I really wish it wouldn't constantly point at Yui. Don't get me wrong. Just always make me thinking that I'm missing something. Evidently, I'm not. As I note, scrap of notebook paper on the floor looks like there's something written on it. Sunset beckons, calling me into the water. This is the right thing to do. We're gonna have to go into the water now. The window below is shattered. Did that man jump from here? Yeah, I think my theory is right. I thought it's much of a and I've got a bunch of empirical evidence. Empirical? Imperial? Evidence. Proves otherwise. Proves I am. Correct. The whole room is charred. The man might have left something behind. If he did, it'd likely be hidden. It looks like there was a fire. This must be where the innkeeper moved. And he tried to burn everything down. He would try because, um... Yeah, it seems to only have been contained to this room. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we're going to see about... Finishing up the Chiru Mirror. Maybe finding the poor saw that tried to burn his place to the ground and all that fun stuff. Who knows? Maybe exercise him for good. Yay! Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Cheers.